uh, it's happening. Today's a day. All booked up for Lisbon. About to head to the airport. Still have to pack, but I still have to pack. So that was really close. I managed to check into my return flight, but not my flight there. When I checked my boarding passes, I only had one PDF attached. Uh, it turns out I'd only checked into my return flight and didn't have my boarding details for my flight there. So, sorted that one out. Good start. I'm about to board. I've just checked the weather report for Lisbon and it's basically, it's just gonna rain all day tomorrow. But Monday, uh, uh, Monday Sunday, apparently it's gonna be really nice. So. I have to find something to do indoors tomorrow. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Sunglass Hut, Donald's Duty Free. This place feels exactly like Brisbane International. Here we go, I've arrived, touched down. Got myself a coffee from Starbucks because I'm both a terrible person and also don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, it's been a really long day. Somehow it's 7 p.m. local, my time, and I've had like one meal and no coffee at all today. So, I'm a bit on edge. So I'm just trying to find the metro. Hmm. Alright, I think I found it. Bought a daily pass expecting to get a train ticket, but it's just a plastic paper daily pass. Alas. Starting here at the airport on the red line, you need to go all the way down, change trains at the green line, and then get off at Rossio. Uh, it's a good tip. This is the Schiphol Airport Rail Pass, not the Portuguese Lisbonese. Okay, let's try it again with the correct car. So, made it. Wasn't expecting it to be this dark, I guess that's the latitude. It's, uh, I think, half past six. Uh, and rainy as heck. The next step is probably uh, find my hostel and then also maybe find an umbrella because it's going to be a wet weekend. Let's go. Ah, the sidewalk is all paved and it is slippery. So this is beautiful. I set off in what I thought was the right way, that way. It wasn't. I've done a big loop and now I'm back where I started. But I did manage to pick up a SIM card, which is awesome. Did not manage to pick up an umbrella because the ATM charges a fee and everyone has a minimum spend. And I didn't pick up cash before I left because I'm a fool. Now I'm just going to head to the hostel and drop all my stuff. Should be good. So I was reading about this, because Lisbon is like crazy hilly. I think either elevators or that specific elevator is like famous for, you know, being an elevator connecting you to the upper class. Yup. So 
I changed my shoes to be less slippery and wet, but they're also like a billion times less waterproof, so I'm gonna try and find some socks. They only have up to size 45, and I am European 47, I think. Uh, that's gonna be real uncomfortable because my socks are already drenched and I've been outside for five minutes. Alright, I'm gonna go see if I can find some food. Yeah, I was approached by uh, a guy on the street poking a restaurant. I was like, you know, what's the worst that could happen? I just had probably one of the worst meals of my life. Maybe not. I mean, I've made some terrible things in my time. But um, I was served spaghetti with scrambled egg. Great culinary choices, I suppose. So um, I'm going to roll around, see what else is happening. And there's a little supermarket. I do love a little supermarket. Uh, also, you can't take liquids or gels on the plane, so gotta buy your toiletries here. It's about 9 p.m. Nothing's really open, and I'm feeling a bit like I might have made a mistake in coming here. Like, what am I doing? Then I'm like, you know what, I'll go to a gay bar. I find the nearest one that's open, it's called Three. So I just went to a bear bar here by myself, made some friends, had shots with the bartenders. This is not something that usually happens in my life. But here we are. These are called jellyfish, blue curacao, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't know. Anyway, now I'm feeling really good. It's close to 2am, 3am my time, and I'm about to head back up to the hostel where I'm gonna have a good night's sleep. Day one, this was pretty sweet. I am so happy.